we just uh, pasted in there so str dot erase and uh, we give the where and how many so from where and how many characters so we will want to erase from two and want to erase three characters because oh four characters because we uh, pasted four characters in it so uh, in theory we should ge uh, get back the string which we started so str and l okay compile the program and run it and we get back the original string okay let's see we have a replace function which work exactly the same but uh, we have to give something to erase to uh, and uh, yes that's it okay swap which uh, swap to string okay but sometimes you need a c string character back so a character with the so a normal character, literal, a C style string. Uh, we can achieve that with str, C, str, like that. And, uh, oh, this is a member function, right? Not a variable or a constant. Uh, this will con convert the string into a C style character so we can just make a char C I don't know uh, 40 character long and C equal str dot uh, and yeah okay we just make something wrong but don't worry about that we'll see what mm, actually make it a pointer hmm. as you can see there are just problem with the C style character so that is one reason why you shouldn't use it okay we don't use assignment operator we use the the str str cpi so include c string and uh, delete this and uh, str cpy like that and uh, first uh, the c and the str dot uh, str like that okay and this will copy the string into C it should compile now and because we don't do nothing with it count C style and C alright if we compile the program right now and write it out you can see there is the c style <coughs> character literal and as i mentioned you shouldn't use c style character literal because the thing which happened right now you can't use uh, there is just bad habit to use it because you will make mistakes if you use it with string this is fairly easy to use it is not so low level than the C style string okay there are f there are for example the sub str function which will make which is very simple to use uh, let's start delete this because I hate C style character and write out a substring so str dot sub str uh, so substring and we again 
give from which position and how many so zero position and two characters so this will write out oh semicolon and this will write out the 42 actually okay save it compile it and run it and as you can see it's write out 42 okay there is for example the find function uh, this is the next we give so the string uh, which we are finding uh, and even if you want you can special specialize the position fr uh, from a uh, search not from the start so write out a simple very simple uh, loop which will count the words in it. So let's get started. Let's write a very simple loop which will count the words in this string. Okay, uh, first is a while loop and actually declare a few variables. Actually we need one which is the number of words while and we need another which will store from where should we start the search okay and make it zero both of them while mm, make it uh, str.find we fi uh, search for every space because that uh, separate the words right and we give uh, uh, where should it start in this case it is j oh like that and j equal as you can see the op s colon uh, instead of dot so we will search because uh, uh, a find will give a string uh, and post variable if uh, if it don't find it. So we will examine it that uh, is it and post. So while not string and post. So while we don't find the so while we find characters we will uh, spaces we will run and inside this we will increase the i variable because there is a new word and increase the j variable because uh, we want to search after a character so don't find over and over again the same character okay and write out how many words there are there are oh, i word words like that and make a new line like that uh, double quotes here like that and actually we need to increase the i value by one because after the last word there is no space so there is just five space and six words and there is always one less space uh, than words okay let's start our program compile it and run it and as you can see it's write out the correct number uh, yeah that was the find command a uh, member function actually and uh, that were the most important okay and i want to show you my the cheat sheet this is as you can see the c++ reference a uh, very good uh, site if you want to learn c++ uh, <coughs> And yeah, 
you can find all of its member function right here as you can see there is all of them you can uh, get into it and find is there something that so how is it work there are the forms of it so it is overloaded uh, of course and what does it do and what variable uh, what the mean of the variable and so on so this is a great side if you want to check out all of the uh, member function and uh, thanks for watching and have a great day oh I want to show you a few things that I forget it so just cut this the video the end of the other so uh, you have the equal so is it equal operator to so if str equal to uh, this I hope we didn't change it uh, we can write out something like uh, it is equal like that alright then so let's see okay I will like compiled and as you can see it is equal but if I change something I delete the character for example and we compile and run it again it is not equal so this is uh, <coughs> very useful in some cases and there are not just C style string there you can comp uh, compare it with another string object so if we would make another uh, string object string uh, str for example and we can use the copy constructor actually so uh, then we don't put it here so just to be equal so uh, put it right before the compression so a string str and we use the copy constructor we will learn it later this is one uh, uh, str like that so we could put it str and this will make of course true so if I r compile it run it it is equal but of course if I change something so str 5 equal mm, j and save it compile run it is not equal right now so it is just as simple to make uh, so use this operator which actually overloaded at well okay and actually that was it mm sorry for the few mistake I started to tire because it was a very long tutorial and I make it almost uh, in one piece although I make a break if you see if you saw but uh, it's a little tiring to speak English so long and that's it uh, have a great day again